Lock the door, J. Ashad, take it off on the floor. Five and one, rock back up. Mama, eh, more and more. So we move, so we move, I die away. Eh. I say, I want them. Fame, I don't rim, I don't rim, I do it. Eh, 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 eh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I was son. What genre of music do I make? Mm-hmm. I mean, my roots are hip hop, but um, I don't mind fusing it with any other genre. So um, the roots are hip hop, like I said, but I tend to experiment a lot. So I won't give it one genre. Yeah. Okay. So last year, um, Adam had a show, um, Adam Fest, and I fell off stage. Yeah, that was my first time. Yeah. It was very embarrassing, but... How did you fall? How did I fall? I don't know if you've actually really studied how stages are. You know, there's... It's like a T. So there's a space in the middle. So like a T, so there's a space. I was wearing some very dark glasses. So I couldn't see well. So I was jumping around before I could realize, Charlie, should do? I was down. But there's some guys in front, so they actually just picked me up right after. But there are footages of it, but you didn't see it. I think I've changed the business part of it because um, if we compare um, the Ghanaian music business um, with the other music industries outside, I mean, they have a structure that would actually earn you a lot from what you're making in terms of the music. but. It's really not like that here. If you don't have a show, if you're not that big, you know, it's it's quite difficult making money. I mean, you're not understanding the streaming business, but I think it should have been better way before. Yes and no, I would say. I mean, sometimes it's about me, sometimes about the people around me, or. Uh, the things I see every day, so I would say it's both. My creative process, well it depends. Okay, let me give you one instance. Um, you know I'm a producer as well, I make my own beats. So if it's not my beat, if it's someone else's beat and the person sends it um, and I listen to it and I like it, most of the time on the spot, I have an idea, like a melody. I always have a melody first in my head. And then I start writing before I actually go to the studio. And then I sort of do like a freestyle on the beat. I listen to it and then I just move on from there. That is with someone else's beat. With my beat, most of the time when I'm producing, I'm writing whilst I'm producing as well. Yeah. My favorite part is the creative part because um, it gives me the liberty of expressing myself. My least favorite part is the it's my least favorite part. I'll say it's the mixing and mastering. It's work, Charlie. Yeah, it's work. I wish someone else would do would would do, would do my mixing and mastering for me, but that's my least favorite part, Charlie. Because it takes it takes a while for you to get the right sound in terms of the mix and the mastering, do you get me? Yeah, it's not easy, trust me. I actually find it difficult listening to myself after the song is out and even watching my own music videos. I don't know, I don't watch it. Even my performances, it will take like maybe a week or two before I re-watch it. Food, you know, I know I So I can't pick both. I see the way she watch me. I can't pick both. Hey! Ah! <laughs> Bum. <laughs> what's up, what's up? It's your boy Shake, a leader of the new school, and this is Aft Town. Find all my music there, stream, download, 
make we chop small, make you go there. What?